Jasper out there at all? No, it's staying shadow all out there. Oh, golly. <laughs> Get him in here. Ozzy Craw, that's what I'm talking the about, man. Ozzy Craw. Awesome. That fish hammered it, y'all. Look at that fish right there. Nice job, dude. That was yeah, a good one. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, guys, welcome to Fish the Moment. Today, Jimmy and I are on Millwood Lake over here in southern Arkansas. Millwood is Jimmy's home lake. Yeah. And I wanted to give him a challenge today because you guys know I like to fish the moment and I don't like to fish history. And Jimmy knows like, this lake like the back of his hand. So I wanted him to take us to an area he has not fished in a very long time so we can try to figure him out from scratch. Yeah, so Johnny was pointing at parts of the lake. Hey, have you fished here, here? And at one area of the lake, he pointed out, I was like, man, I fished there quite a bit or I fished there last weekend and we got right here. I'm like, I haven't fished there in a year. So he drew a line. We decided to come over here and, and he said, we're staying here and gonna figure them out. And so here we are with the first fish catch right there and we're gonna see what we can do. For sure, and the spot we're in right now, guys, is this basically this little river system at the top end of the lake. Yep. And we just had a bunch of rain come through the last mm -hmm. couple of days. And whenever you get a lot of rain on these river system lakes, it's going to create current. And we'll get into this area a little bit more if we keep catching some fish. Yeah. But the idea is that we found an area where has some, there's some current flow. And hopefully yeah. that current's going to keep these fish active. We're going to put them in the boat. So let's keep yeah, let's catching go, some. Let's go catch some more. <laughs> Got them. Good one, dude. <laughs> Killing it, man. Nice. That's a good one. Another good fish right there, y'all. There we go, dude, you're kicking my butt. Ah, welcome to Millwood. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I almost cursed myself because I lost a really good one on the Neko rig. I'm throwing yeah. a spinner out on Millwood. That's my first problem. Nah, it's okay. It was a good one, but you got yeah. that fish. That was a really nice, solid one. Yeah, so we uh, we just picked up the old fighting frog here, and we just, I just, we just thought about, hey, I, after he missed that fish on that finesse presentation, flipping it, I was like, man, maybe I need to fish up here close to these reeds with this current got bit pretty quick and caught that fish. Let's see if we can expand on this. Yeah, and the great thing about this area, guys, we found, I think, a little honey hole. Yep. We got two fish now, lost another good one, three quality fish. And what we're fishing here, guys, is basically behind us, the entrance to a main river. And then in the other direction here, we have a massive flat and it's pretty shallow on this flat. We'll yep. show you here on the drone view of all mm -hmm. this stuff. And what's happening is that this river is dumping out through the reeds behind us into this big flat and because of all that rain the current's pushing through yeah. here and i mean the current is ripping past these reeds so yeah. these fish are pulling up on the outside edge of those reeds and honestly it seems like it'd be a great time to fish a swim jig a buzz bait something like that but those fish just aren't very aggressive right now and yeah. it seems like we need to flip them to get them in the boat yeah so let's uh, like i said let's uh go here and see what we can do i enjoy catching them like this i know it's something you don't get to do jimmy's like let's, let's stop go. talking and start yeah, catching let's go, let's let's go. go oh golly jimmy I'm getting my butt kicked by Jimmy today, man. Back us out of here. That is a tank. Look at that boat flip. Oh, how I love Lake Millwood. It's been a while. Look at that fish right there. Oh Johnny, he thumped it right away. I saw him just, like, I saw it <sighs> hit it, and I was like, uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> there, that's what I'm talking about, dude. We are all over the place about yeah, here. Yes, sir. Oh, I man, find, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Dude, that is a good one. You're kicking my butt today. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Millwood, like I said <laughs> earlier. That fish right there, man, I, that's, why we, that's why I fish Millwood, man. Oh. Shallow, muddy river fish. Oh, nothing like it. Dude, Nothing that's like awesome. It. It's really cool, guys, because we, uh, I, I was looking at the Deep Dive app right before you caught that fish. I should yeah. be fishing, not looking at the app. But he what was. we noticed was that the app was showing because of all the current flow and kind of the cloudy ish conditions we've had earlier in the day, it was recommending all that moving baits. Mm -hmm. So buzz baits, swim jigs, frogs. Yeah. But they were just missing those baits. We were throwing yeah. them a little bit and they weren't getting them. But down at the bottom of the list, it said Texas rig creature bait. Yep. And sometimes when you get these conditions, when the current's flowing and you get kind of partly cloudy skies, you can't go to those reaction baits. A lot of times that's the way to do it. But every once in a while, you might need to go to that Texas rig and that's what we're getting them on. Yeah, that's right. And I just know for me, from, from, from fishing out here and just knowing like when they are missing those baits, like Johnny was saying, I right away picked this up. And Johnny was even a minute ago was like, hey, that would have been the first thing I did, you know? But me just having the familiar out here fishing and just knowing, hey, slow down a little bit, go and try to pick this apart. We had some bites. There's fish here, go catch them. For sure. And one thing that I will say is that Jimmy actually wanted to get out of here the second he got yeah, into this area. I did. I pulled up in here and I was like, I don't like it. Let's go. And Johnny's like, no, we are going to figure them out. And I was like, okay, well, here we go. So if it wasn't for Johnny being with me right now, which that one reason why makes us good partners, you know, he made me stay. I kind of got us on something. Now let's go try to catch some more fish. Let's get one more, a couple let's more go. in the boat, man. Yes, let's sir. get it. Let's go. Big. But it's flipping these creature baits and here's just the big bites fighting frog. 
it's in the South African special color. Flipping up in there, letting it sink. The reason I'm using this lighter weight is because we're in shallow water. We're like in foot to two foot of water. So I'm not using the punch rig to get up in there, but I'm using this really, really lighter weight. And you know, you can even see maybe the fish's, uh, fish's teeth right there. So let's see if we can go get another one. So it's kind of interesting here, guys. We actually worked our way a little bit further up into that little river channel that the current's coming from, and we aren't getting any bites. And it seems like the fish are positioned a lot more towards the flat area here where the current dumps in, and they're setting up on those isolated clumps. Where the current's the strongest, these fish just don't seem that comfortable. And instead, they want to be where the current is still moving, but it's not necessarily just ripping past these clumps of grass. We're gonna make our way a little bit back towards where we were catching them earlier and hopefully put the last fish here in the boat. They're in it a little bit. I mean, like they're like that, like that. I just got one. Oh, golly, get them. I got them too, doubled. Mine's off. Oh, golly. Mine is. That's a good fish, get them in the boat. I'm, I'm gonna leave mine there, mine's off. There, there we go. go. Solid fish right there. Jimmy's had one right there and I was watching him. Got a nice fish right there, fighting frog. Another nice one, flipping these reeds. They are just all over this spot, dude. These current flow areas can be absolutely dynamite if you can hit them in the right timing, and we are just catching them. I'm just glad I'm on the board, Jimmy. You've been kicking my butt for about 30 minutes here. <laughs> Go, guys. Well, Jimmy's getting re-rigged here. I'll walk you through the setup I used to catch that fish. Just throwing the same fighting frog in the South African special color. And I was actually throwing this bait on an eighth ounce tungsten weight. I thought a lighter weight would actually help generate bites with the fish that seemed kind of finicky. But Jimmy's catching them on the 5 16 ounce. So I actually went up to a 3 8 ounce weight and pretty much immediately caught a fish in the boat. It's pretty crazy how a small change in weight can make such a big difference. And Jimmy caught three to one on me. So I think that him switching that heavier weight earlier was definitely key and a lot of times guys when you're fishing out here in these different conditions a small change like how heavy your weight is in your texas rig can be a difference between catching zero fish and five fish so definitely keep experimenting i think the reason that this is working right here is just because we're pitching these reeds and the current's flowing pretty good here and it's allowing that bait to get down into those reeds not float too far away from the spot where it lands and getting those fish's face. Just pairing this with a Denali Covert, seven foot six, medium heavy Ormond jig rod with 18 pound Sunline FC Snapper fluorocarbon and a Black Max Abu Garcia reel. Probably should be throwing 20 pound tests or some braid or something, but this is what I got. I'm a, a visitor in the boat today, so I just kind of tied up what I could and this is working great. Let's try to get another one in the boat. There we go, guys. Four beautiful Millwood Lake bass caught in under two hours on this awesome pattern. Yeah, man. Like I said, you know, we, we caught five fish. We did have five fish. We had two other small keepers and had opportunity for two more good fish. But like I said, sometimes fishing out here, you don't exit, you know, don't always execute. And we did all this in two hours. Yeah. So if we stayed out here, we could have rotated this area, probably caught a few more fish. But we yeah. actually want to get out for yeah. a few more hours, try to get another yeah, pattern for it. you. We're going to try to go out there and try to catch more fish for y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below. and. We'll see you next time. See you guys next video.